hey, let's try a new format today. But first, what in the world is cardistry? Let's refer to our very trusty, reliable source of information, Wikipedia. Cardistry is the performance art of card flourishing. Unlike card magic, cardistry is meant to be visually impressive and appear very hard to execute. And I gotta tell you, it is freaking hard to execute. Now that's out of the way, we're going to watch cardistry appearances on mainstream media, like on TV, movies, TV commercials, cartoons. And today's content has been curated by cardistry cameos on Instagram. So be sure to check them out, give them a follow, link them below. And today's video sponsor is me. <laughs> so don't forget to hit like, it really helps. Let's get started. All right, so let's go on the account. Cardistry cameos. And uh, let's start from uh, way, way, way back. We're gonna go way, way, way back. Ooh, Fortnite. Oh, no way. That's a little odd. I gotta say, most of the time when I see a spring on TV or in cartoons, it's all, the physics are always completely off. I mean, look at this one. Like the overhand shuffle, fine, okay. That, that's a real move. The spring there is a little hard. That spring, that spring like this, impossible. You just cannot do that. So here, I'll show you a spring. That's a normal spring. You could also do the side spring-ish, right? It's kind of doable. The rainbow spring, like that, the physics there, impossible, impossible. Can't do that, okay? But that's pretty cool. It's actually really cool to see this on Fortnite. It gives uh, cardistry a lot of a lot of mainstream exposure right there. So uh, yeah, really cool to see that, Fortnite, very cool. Ooh, okay, another spring. Very funky here. I think we're starting to see a, a typical pattern. Springs aren't always the big forte in cartoons, but hey, it's it looks entertaining, it works, but not realistic at all. Oh, it's a Now You See Me. Okay. That was most likely a hand double. Very cool. That's a Dan and Dave move. That's, that's Pandora. That's actually Pandora, that's so cool. Fan right there. Ooh, the snap change. Very nice. So you know what? Let's 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 try to do a few. So what you just saw there was uh, the Pandora, like this. Oh, I'm getting rusty. Okay, let's do it again. Let's try to get it right. Pandora, boom. Ah, oh, rusty. Let's do it again. Pandora, boom, boom. I added a little sound effect right there. Very cool. It's very cool to see that in Now You See Me, mostly, most likely a hand double. I wouldn't be surprised if it was actually Dan and Dave who are the creators of that move. No, very cool to see, very cool to see. Okay, so this is Hisoka, ooh. Okay, Hunter x Hunter. So interesting, that's very cool. We see a spring in anime and that spring looks, looks pretty decent. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's... At least that one looks pretty decent, so I'm happy about that. Okay, so there you go. This is Dan and Dave who appeared on Time Warp back in 2009. I guess they're doing a little showcase on what cardistry actually is. Very cool. Now I tell you, Dan and Dave were basically the OGs of cardistry. Ooh, diving door, diving, diving, I can't speak. Diving board double. So what you saw earlier is basically a double lift that's being flipped. But on top of that, you do a deck flip. So, boom. Ah. Okay, one more time. You know what? Screw it. Ooh, got Phineas and Ferb. What are they doing here? Whoa, okay. Let's go back. What did we just see here? We got a little, little dribble, a little, little spring, a little fan, a little card castle. Whoa, okay. Hey, cool to see. <laughs> Okay, Now You See Me. This is a super iconic scene from Now You See Me. Most of you probably have seen it before. Definitely CGI action going on here. It's doable. It's just really, really, really hard to do. That was a very cool scene from Now You See Me. Most of you have seen it. A lot of TikTokers are overusing it. So that's, that's a very solid cameo. Oh, this is my favorite. This is from The Simpsons. Drops the cards and she goes, picks up all the cards. Okay. Oh, spring, spring. That. 
Wow, so a lot of these moves are legit, except for like the physics of the spring, but but that one right there. We saw a diving board double with some cut at the same time. We saw an anaconda, crazy. I'll just do a simple diving board double by uh, Lee Asher, like that, that was cool. And now on top of that, she did that on top of like doing some of these cuts like that. So that's, that's really nuts. It's possible, but very hard. Anaconda, and then we saw some some fans, I think, or maybe a Carnahan fan, not sure. Um, but the spring, spring like this, and then spring it back, that's that's practically impossible. But it, hey, very cool. This is definitely one of my favorite scenes that includes Carter Street from The Simpsons. Oh, so what is this? The little anime action here. Oh, okay, so these are legit moves. I'm really impressed. Like these are actually real packet cuts that you can actually do, huh? I can only imagine the amount of consulting that was needed or they had to refer to some actual cuts and then they would animate it accordingly. Wow, no, I'm, I'm actually really impressed. As a cardist, this is super impressive to see that in, in anime. Let me try to figure out what cut this is. I've been seeing a lot of Dan and Dave influences in most of Cardi's Street cameos. Maybe Dan and Dave consulted a bunch of stuff. We definitely saw some sort of combos like this. Oh, there you go. That's the move. That's the move that I saw. There you go. More anime. Looks like there's a lot of Cardi's Street animes. Ooh, okay. Spring, fan, spring. You're a magician, aren't you? <laughs> There you go. That's hilarious. I'm sure all the cardists can relate. I mean, I'm a magician. I don't get this issue, but a lot of cardists are just cardists. They're not actually magicians. So when people see a card shuffle cards, they immediately assume that they're magicians. More anime. Oh, Joe from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. What do we got here? Okay. That's a legit spring. And that's a very legit spread. Oh, with a turnover. This makes me happy. This spring is very accurate. Overhand shuffle, spring, and it's a realistic one. And then we got the spread and turnover. So there's two ways to spring. One is through the thumb, and the other one is through the fingers right there. And so that was a very realistic distance to do the spring. So, you know what? I'm very happy with this appearance. Oh, wait. Okay, this is insane. You gotta watch this. Okay, so this spring is legit. We gotta... What was that? What is this? What is going on? <laughs> and we got Pandora again. And okay, there, now it's getting out of hand. So we got a little mix of like really legit moves that are real. And then we got this, this. Huh? What the hell? Can you imagine this at an actual casino game? Like, is this even allowed at a casino game? They're about to play against each other, but now they're just displaying the cards, they're touching the cards and everything, and, and, and they're going full-on cardistry duel. Honestly, the most insane cardistry scene I've ever seen. Holy. <laughs> this is crazy. So here are some key takeaways from this experience. One, the physics for springs can get really, really wacky. Like, it can be a dribble, but it looks like a spring, or it can be springs that went crazy. It could be that too. On mainstream media, anything can happen, especially when it's a spring. They can't seem to get it down, but at the same time, really entertaining. So you know what? I'm not mad about it. Especially the Vegas to Macau scene. Holy crap, that was nuts. If you like this brand new format, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and check out this video if you want to learn how to do a proper spring. All right, I'll see you next time. Peace.